Hi everyone, Angela here. For this satin blanket binding tutorial, I'm going to make a couple of tiny baby blankets or lovies out of this polyester fleece. Both sides of this fabric are fluffy, so I'm just going to make it one layer. Now I usually cut away the selvage edges, but this edge doesn't look or handle differently, so I'll keep it as it'll be sewn into the binding. I'm cutting pieces 13 inches square or 33 centimeters, but you can use my method for any size blanket. I'll leave some measurements for different blanket sizes down in the description below. You can buy blanket binding pre-cut in packages. This one has about 4 meters or a bit more than 4 yards. Or you can buy it off the roll. It's basically a wide satin ribbon folded in half with a crease down the center. Make sure to buy binding that has a nice soft feel to it. These measure about 1 and 3 8 of an inch wide or 36 millimeters. There's also binding with one side a bit wider. Make sure to use the wider side on the back. Iron out any creases in the binding. Start by opening up the binding. Place one edge right along that center crease, then fold the other side of the binding over it. Leave a good half an inch or 12 millimeters of satin past the end. You'll notice the edge will slide away from the crease when you fold the binding over. Place clips securely along the edge and then turn it so the binding is at the top. Use a vanishing ink pen to mark a line an eighth of an inch or three millimeters from the edge of the blanket. Next take the other end of the binding and mark the width of it from that line. We'll be sewing a holding stitch along the line and across this edge to the mark. Then repeat and mark on the other end. I'm using a Brother NV50S sewing machine. The link for this and the tools I use are in the description below. Make sure to use coupon code NOTCHESNV50S for the special offer. I'm switching the J foot for the N foot so that it's easier to see. You can also use a walking foot for bulkier fabric. Stitch across the binding edge first and then pivot and stitch across the side. Repeat for the other end. Remove clips that are close to the end. Open up and flip the binding over onto itself, poking out that top corner. Folding back from the stitch line, match the bottom edges of the binding and pin in place about 2 inches in from the fold. Flip over to the other side, match and also pin those edges in place. Take your time to do this as the satin can be so slippery. My method isn't the easiest or the fastest, but I really like the results. Take the end of the binding again and mark the width on the bottom edge from the fold. Now draw a line from that mark to the top corner. Then mark an eighth of an inch or three millimeters down from the corner. Leaving the top corner free, we're going to start stitching from this mark, back tacking, stitch all the way down to the edge and back tacking again. We won't stitch right on the line but just a tiny bit to the right of it. This will create a nicer mitered corner over the bulk. Check that the corner is nice and flat and then stitch between those marks. It's important to keep that top corner free of stitching. Remove both pins, separate the binding and pull out the corner. You now have a beautiful mitered corner attached to the blanket. Clip the binding onto the next side and repeat these steps for the next two corners. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on all notifications, and also leave a comment below. On the final side, clip most of the binding in place. At the bottom, fold in the half inch of binding from the start and clip together. Check that the sides are the same length and adjust if you need to. Cut off the binding half an inch or 12 millimeters from the edge. Remove a couple of the clips, flip and sandwich the start of the binding in between the end of the binding with right sides together and matching all of the short ends. Then clip to hold in place. It should look like a continuous piece without any twisting. Turn it over so the short edges are on the right side and adjust everything so that it's all nice and even. Pin the binding edges together again on both sides. 
Mark the top and bottom of the binding an eighth of an inch or three millimeters out from the blanket edge. From this mark, mark the width on the bottom. Draw a line from this mark to the one at the top. This time sew from the very top to the bottom, back tacking at each end, and again stitch just beside the line. Remove the clip out of the way and pin in place. Trim the binding beside the blanket edge, making sure not to cut the stitching at the top. Open up the binding and then use a knitting needle to gently push out the corners on each side. You may need to use a pin to pull out the top of the corner. Push in the rest of the blanket and clip in place. Next pin the edges together, making sure to catch the bottom layer. Pin all around every couple of inches or so. You can skip this step, but even with the clips on, the satin still tends to slip around. Pinning it will really help to keep it from looking like a twisted mess. I'm switching to a zigzag stitch number 7 with a stitch length of 3.5 and, and a stitch width of 6. Make sure you have enough thread in your bobbin and pull out the top and bottom thread so you have a nice long length. Starting at an inner corner, lower the needle so that it's to the left of the binding edge. We want the left side of the stitch here and not on the edge of the binding. Start your stitching by back tacking and then you're also going to back tack when you come around to finish. Hold your fabric taut from both ends so that it's nice and smooth while you're sewing. When you get to the corner, have your needle down on the inner edge, lift your presser foot and pivot. Repeat for the other two corners. Back tack at the end and then pull out a long length before cutting. Remove all the clips, then thread a needle with one of the ends. Insert the needle right beside the thread and into the binding and have them come out about halfway up into the seam. Then carefully trim close to the satin. Repeat for the other ends. This is just a nice way to finish off the stitching. You can see the binding edges are just inside the zigzag stitches on both sides and the corners have a nice pivot point. Next I'll show you how to create a multicolor edge and use up those shorter pieces. Clip and pin two of the sides and zigzag the binding edges together from the very top to the bottom edges. Remove all the clips and trim the binding ends leaving half an inch or 12 millimeters from the blanket edge. For the other two sides of the blanket, measure across with the binding and add half an inch or 12 millimeters on either side. Fold over, sandwich and mark as before. Then swing the same piece over and join to the other end. Repeat for the other side and just make sure again to stitch from the very top of the corner to the edge of the binding. Zigzag the inner edges exactly the same way and hide the ends of the threads. Once you get the hang of these corners, you'll always end up with a beautiful finish. Make sure to have a look at my other videos. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care and happy sewing.